Hey guys, Gavin here with another video. Today I want to talk about the proper use of filmlets, especially with the ones provided by DaVinci Resolve itself, which all work in a correct technical manner, in contrast to a lot of the LUT packages provided by uh, certain creators on YouTube, which uh, tend to rip apart your picture, especially if you do some alterations to the image after applying the LUT. Um, there are are of course certain exceptions like the ones provided by colin kelly which are great um, but still even with those you have to keep in mind certain steps certain things you have to do to 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 use them in a correct manner and that's what i want to show you today so here we go this is a project that i recently did for a actually well-known german influencer who is releasing or uh, released i'm not sure uh, drink because all influencers now have soft drinks and energy drinks <laughs> um so i picked out this shot here um so this is my note tree that i use this is uh, basically a rec 709 note tree um so we have the color transform here i got uh, red footage from the red monstro whatever camera and uh, input color space here was red white gamut rgb input gamma is red log 3g10 which is the red ipp2 image pipeline so the commonly mostly used pipeline by red and um so i put this cst here for rec 709 and uh, some of you guys have been asking me um hey gavin <laughs> when do you put notes after the cst and when before that so there's certain certain occasions when i do it after if i do you know i have this grade here the client gets back to me and i sometimes try to put notes back there with certain effects because um you know they work differently there maybe there's a you know a happy accident and it looks even better but technically correct would be to put your grade beneath this color space transform oh and before i forget it um, my color management here is rec 709 gamma 2.4 this is mostly for web i think they even did a 9 by 16 version for instagram TikTok, whatever um which i had nothing to do with and here I did a balance you know this stuff so let's just so that's what I got. I got uh, Apple ProRes 444. Then I had to ask the director and the cameraman, hey guys, what was this shot on? I already knew because I know the guys. I know what camera camera they're using. And um, so I put that here. Then balancing, a bit saturation to make it pop. Warmth to make it a bit more, you know, friendly. Then I have this parallel node uh, note construction here <laughs> i did uh the i desaturated the orange here so this is basically my grade fluff and uh oh no skin i actually didn't do anything with the skin here but i would have done something i had to do with some other uh, shots here and that's my grade that's happening beneath the rec 709 color space transform okay so you want to go now and use a Kodak film LUT, for example. So the thing is, um, DaVinci provides I have some custom LUTs here, which I collected over the years. But DaVinci also provides these Kodak film LUTs. And a very, a very nice one is this one here, um, which I use often, which a lot of people use. Um, which is the Kodak 2383D65, Rec. 709 lot. And so most of you guys will go and just, you know, just put a serial here, just slap this on here, and you see, you know, it's basically over the top. Totally, totally over, you know. And also, not only that, you guys will go and just dial down the key output you know will kind of look correct but but <laughs> actually the colors aren't correct here it doesn't look that bad but it's not a technical good way to do it okay so different looks need different 
um, gammas, okay? So this one here, those film looks provided by DaVinci Resolve, always, if, if there's nobody saying like in the LUT package, hey, you need this input gamma to use this, you need this and that, you know, to, to have it work correctly, then already a red flag for me, okay? Um, so these ones here, they use Sinian film log, okay? So we just go here, we have a CST here. This is Rec 709, basically a Rec 709 build. And then we just, uh, you know, um, command S, serial node. Some of you guys have been uh, saying, hey, tell us what you're typing in your keyboard. Keyboard, here you go. <laughs> um, and we just put on the color space transform here. And we need our output gamma to be Cine and film log for these lots, okay? You already see what that did, you know? It changed, it basically put a certain gamma curve on the picture to make it more flat, okay? To put it in Cine and film log. And that's what these lots here, what, what they need, okay? So after that, so let's just name this CST Cinean, I just call it CST Sin. And after that, you put your film look, a film lot, also a look basically. Okay, so like I said, this one is quite, quite a oftenly used one. And now, we have it working correctly, this one, this lot, okay? So let's call it Kodak. Um, as you can see, it's kind of over the top again because, um, you know, I did these changes here. Before that, you can basically do any grade you want, you know? This is by itself, you know, this is my grade. And this, those are my transforms here. So could have been only, you know, one serial node in front of these three here. But this is the grade that I chose for this one because, you know, I wanted to change this, this orange tone, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So what you could be doing now is go and just change the key output to uh, dial down the colors which is also not a correct way. As you can see, when I go to zero here, I'm back at the Sinian film log. What you rather wanna do, so let's put it back to one here, what you rather wanna do, and I know other people have done this tutorial, but it's, it's, it can't be said enough because people always do it wrongly. And what you do now is just create a compound node and now, you can just dial down the output and it works correctly. Okay, so that's a level that, that I like because, because it has to be poppy here, okay? So this is before, this is after. You could also go now and just balance it again. Oh, my panel is not turned on, now it is. You know, you can always do these changes after, so I'm just uh, turned down the gain here a bit and the lift a bit, you know. So, um, but that's the correct way to use film LUTs. So always when you're buying or downloading or wherever the F you're getting your, your LUTs from, always check what does this LUT need to work properly. To work in a technical manner that is correct and then you decide how this here looks okay and like i said you can also do some changes back here but the technical correct way to actually do things is to put your grade below that here excuse me kind of had to burp here <laughs> all right i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope to let me talk to you guys i hope you enjoyed this one and uh if you did leave a like leave a sub leave a comment hope to see you in the next one i want to uh, i also plan to do another video for friday so basically two videos per week is planned but 
it always depends on my workload beside besides YouTube. <laughs> so um, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Bye bye.